now, here's Chief Meteorologist Tony Petrarca with your live Pinpoint Doppler 12 Futurecast. Well, the wind is certainly busy today, bringing in drier and cooler air and also keeping the skies sunny. We take a look at live pinpoint Doppler 12 radar and uh, no precipitation to be found, uh, not a cloud in the uh, sky. As we got getting real close, uh, we talked about um, uh, the brush fire, the uh, newscast a few minutes ago on uh, New Meadow Road on the Barrington Swansea line. New Meadow Road is right about there and the wind is gusty, so that's not uh, helping the situation. We'll keep you updated. You can see the sunshine in Providence right now. Blustery, obviously, and very cool. That 52 feels more like the 40s, so it's certainly jacket weather tonight, especially later at night on a west-northwest wind at 20, bringing in that ultra-dry air now coming in at 32%. In fact, it's already down to 48 in Smithfield, low in mid-50s elsewhere with uh, mainly sunny skies. And as mentioned, we are setting up for a pretty cold night. The freeze warning in effect for the areas in blue, with the exception of Bay communities, as temperatures getting to... Uh, down about 30, 35 by uh, daybreak tomorrow. Futurecast uh, shows a storm system way up in the Canadian Maritimes, but on the back side of it, producing these gusty northwesterly winds, bringing in the dry and uh, cool air. So certainly no precipitation expected with the air so dry. Futurecast starts off this evening with just quiet weather, generally clear right on through the overnight. Here we are tomorrow morning and around 7 a.m. A few fair weather clouds, otherwise a chilly and bright start. And then during the afternoon, at about 2 o'clock, sunshine. Uh, a nice day, though, on the cool side. And then by tomorrow evening, some extra clouds will start to roll in, but still staying on the dry side. Here's your temperature breakdown starting off at 10 o'clock tonight, but watch these numbers tumble overnight towards daybreak tomorrow, dropping down to the low in mid 30s. But enough sunshine to cause a decent temperature recovery by late afternoon, mid and upper 50s, perhaps briefly near 60. So this is the time of year where it can be pretty chilly at sunrise and then warm up nicely uh, during the afternoon. So clear, uh, crystal clear tonight. Midnight will drop off to 40. Then overnight, that's when the temperatures start to free fall as we drop down to near or just below freezing around 5, 6 o'clock in the morning. So naturally, it's a cold start tomorrow morning with sunshine, 7 a.m., 35, jumping up to 53 by... 11 a.m. and then upper 50s to briefly near 60 tomorrow afternoon and not nearly as windy. Uh, Bay forecast has that wind coming out of the west and southwest at around uh, 10 to 20 miles per hour. So again, not nearly as gusty. It's a, a cool and dry weekend sunshine for a Sunday after a cold start 62. We start to see a moderation in temperature in the middle and the end of next week as temperatures recover to the 60s. I want to send out a quick hello to the students at the Horgan School in West Warwick. It was their reading week this week and of course read to the students today had a real nice time and they were happy to hear that the weekend, albeit cool, looks sunny both uh, Saturday and Sunday. But a pretty cold overnight tonight. Any uh, potted plants, good idea to bring them in. Pets too. Yeah. Still had on